Hello, this is Nick back on the camera again one more time. I'm talking to Robicus, or indeed I'm commenting on a video done by Robicus, which he did predominantly for the purposes of testing his ability to make the video and up all the rest upload it. But he's um, covered a very interesting subject, namely falling dreams and hitting the bottom. Uh, and he's covered a few of the, you know, the the scientific, well, he mentioned a scientific test in which uh, cats had the part of the brain which deals with certain forms of brainwave activity during sleep, so like switched off, and they, when they were in their dream state, would actually be running around and chasing mice or whatever it is the cats dream about. But they were doing it whilst they were asleep. Uh, and he then mentioned out-of-body experiences briefly, and talks about the sensation of falling and then hitting the bottom. From a purely mechanical point of view, so to speak, it would make sense that when you, when the body needs to rest and rejuvenate and um, extra nutrients and blood flow has to occur in the body and the brain chemistry and brainwave activity has to sort of like rebalance itself, it would make sense that the physical body needs to properly rest. And so it's quite clever of our evolution to allow us to have certain, I don't know, chemicals released or brainwave activity occurring so that the physical body can be reasonably still whilst all this rejuvenation process is happening. On the subject of the feeling of falling in your dreams and hitting bottom, people who, as it were, in inverted commas, believe in astral projection, because I think the word belief is inappropriate here, but never mind, we'll use it just out of convention, would say that it is the astral body coming down back into the physical after having been for a wander about, that is the sensation of the falling dream and then rising rapidly to conscious awareness after your astral body has been a long way away from the physical, or possibly very high up away from the physical. But it is also assumed by people who, as it were, in inverted commas, believe in astral projection phenomena that the dream's content and the movement of the body in the dream has some kind of connection to where your astral body is moving around. So just like the cats who've got that part of the brain or chemicals in the brain switched off, which um, which, which would make them go cataleptic or in rest when they're in normal natural sleep, okay? Uh, but would be running around if they, you know, if that part of the brain was active. Uh, it's your astral body which is running around and doing all the things you're doing in the dream. And so essentially, is it possible that your astral body could be falling and then hitting a surface in the dream which is um, geographically transposed away from your physical body. And then the full waking process is when your astral body then zips back into your physical. Alright, so in some dreams, is it necessarily a, a question of hitting bottom actually being the coincidence of the astral to the physical, or is it hitting down somewhere else, and then when you're finally waking up, does it then slide back into your physical body? I don't think that there are any books out there which would really um, explain or go into that in great detail. Uh, maybe right now you've got the mental picture of uh, an entire city at sleep with lots of little, you know, cords going up to all the little astral bodies fighting each other away up in the sky. But maybe that's the way it is. Maybe it, it, that's the way it isn't. I don't know. But that could be a way of looking at what happens when you do astral projections. What it actually means in total, in toto, in, you know, fully speaking, I think it's very hard to say, but these are experiences which occur. Last night I tried my hardest to make an astral projection experience happen. I had another night of reasonable insomnia and I thought to myself, come on, you're Nick Dutch, go on, do an astral projection, why don't you? And I thought to myself, no, I can't always do it whenever I want. And I thought, come on, Nick, give it a go. Uh, and I got myself very comfortable in bed. 
and I started a mantra going on inside my mind. Uh, the mantra was designed to help me to convince myself that I was already outside of the physical. Um, therefore to help me to override any physical sensations that I've got of connection with the bed or the weight of the bed clothes upon me. And after a period of time, which was probably just a couple of minutes, uh, I was quite aware of losing consciousness of being in bed. I didn't feel as much the sensation of the bedclothes upon me or the bed beneath me. Um, I was neither too hot nor too cold and so on and so forth. And from then some strange sensations occurred, including the feeling of my legs floating upwards um, and a sense of standing upright, which is of course peculiar because I was lying down in bed. But after this feeling of my legs floating upwards, there was also this kind of like turning feeling or turning sensation. Not super luminal, ooh, ultra quick, but a sense of slow rotation, um, moving to this upright position. And as I was going through the experience of this twisting, turning sensation, I occasionally got flashes or glimpses, quite clear flashes or glimpses, of things for want of a better word, which appeared to be timber work. Uh, it was almost as if uh, my eyes had been placed um, between um, the, the skin of my ceiling and the roof, and I was looking at the timbers between the roof tiles and the, um, and the plasterboard on the inside of my ceiling. And maybe that was part of what I was experiencing. There were other things too, the occasional uh, little waves of sound or voices or impressions, and they would come and they would go, which you would make some sense. That's just the brain waves sort of sorting something out inside themselves. Now, was that a full blown astral experience or astral projection experience? Short answer no. Was it in keeping with some of the movements of the astral body? as some people who are in inverted commas believers in astral projection uh, might say, uh, to which the answer would be yes. What can we conclude from this? Absolutely nothing. It is my personal opinion that there was some kind of astral body activity occurring, but that has to remain as personal opinion rather than necessarily um, a statement of hard and fast fact, and therefore it cannot be uh, an unfalsifiable claim, because it's wrong to do unfalsifiable claims. Anyway, just a quick ramble for today. Sorry, I'm not really with it. It's still first thing in the morning for me. But what can you do? Good fortune, God bless. Speak to you in a while. Bye for now.